Okay, okay, okay. Welcome back. Here's another axe build for you because you guys kept asking for one, so I'm delivering. With this axe build, basically, it's pretty much the same thing that you'll be seeing for um, the Frost Wolf Revenant combination. And this one, the only real difference here is that we don't, we drop the use of Pulse. We completely drop the use of Pulse and we don't go full into Parasitic. Um, there are reasons for that, but mainly there aren't enough slots. Okay, so I'm going to explain how this entire build works. And you will basically see that it's only slightly different from the other uh, Frostwolf Revenant builds, but it is optimized for the Axe. Okay? So you start out with the permanent frost, which is your Urska axe, all right? Predator cell, predator cell, okay? Special is gonna be Grim Onslaught. Mod will be your overcharged cylinder, of which we still have two mods per, <laughs> per thingy, so whatever. Overcharged cylinder, okay? This will allow your axe to stack up to level four. And your bond will be the frost wolf's chomp, which is the uh, frost wolf axe, okay? You have your Revenant Omnicell right here, okay? You have your Skarn's Defiance with the Omnisurge Cell right here. You have your Agaric Canopy with the Aegis Cell, okay? You have your Nasher Cloak with the Toughness Cell. You also have your Wolf Claws with the Aegis Cell, okay? And your Scrave Wing Boots with the Omnisurge Cell. There's a build link in the description if you ever forget any of this, so don't worry. Overall, what kind of perks are you going to get? Let's go through them right now. You're going to get plus 6 Aegis, okay, which will increase all shields received by 20%. And after you gain 1,000 shields from any source, you ignore the next incoming hit within 15 seconds. This is very powerful and it will help you through a lot of stuff. Galvanized. For every 50 shields you gain, you have a 1% bonus critical strike chance and 15% increased critical strike damage. This is absolutely beautiful because this is basically going to help you stack up your critical strikes. Okay? Unlike other axe builds, we do not go for pulse, which means just throw your axe as and when you feel like it. Okay? But try to have your bar charged up in full because a full axe bar gives you times 2.5 throw damage. Just remember that. Okay? It's not stated anywhere, but that is actually a fact. And you can test this for yourself. Plus 6 Omnisurge will reduce the cooldown of your Revenant, meaning you can cast more often, and on Omnicell ability activation, the cooldown of your Lantern will be reduced by 40%, which is very useful, because you want to cast Revenant and keep casting your Lantern as well to trigger the Frostwolf UE, alright, which will give you more shields and at the same time deal fantastic damage to your opponent. Predator, as long as you don't take hostile damage, you will deal 35% more damage. This is very useful for Revenant because you're literally trying to avoid getting hit. Um, it's also well worth noting that this is a particular playstyle for the axe anyway, so if you were using my axe builds before, you would have Predator in it. Toughness, um, that'll increase your maximum health, and also it'll boost the healing that you get when Revenant ends, as well as let's say that you're in a slightly bad situation, you might be able to heal back from it via Parasitic and the natural lifesteal of Revenant if you are not at the full hit points to start casting Revenant, just so you know. Sometimes mistakes like that do happen. And as a bonus, you have Adrenaline here, so as you use up your stamina, you can get up to 16% bonus damage, which is nice. Um, that little extra bonus is very useful um, because the Axe uses stamina constantly, okay? So that is basically this entire build, and now we're going to see it in practical combat. For those of you that do not want to watch the combat showcase, feel free to like, share, and subscribe right here. If you want to help the channel keep going, all you got to do is join as a channel member. That will help us, uh, you know, pay the bills, pay whatever. All right. And if you'd like to, and if you'd like to, feel free to uh, also drop a tip via the link in the description of the video or purchase Asian robot merchandise. Up to you. Up to you. All right. Um, thank you very much if you decide to help out the channel. All right. But if not, like, share, and subscribe is good enough. Now we're going to go into the Frost March area. The lowest behemoth is 6 levels higher, the highest one is about 9 levels higher. I do not advise combat like this, but a lot of players have questioned, and of course I'll be doing a Blazeworks showcase eventually, but a lot of players have actually questioned 
Um, how do these builds function in, in places like Blazeworks? How do these builds function in places where, you know, you might find yourself in a bit of a bad situation? How, how do you um, deal with that? And how do you take down uh, behemoths quickly and safely? Um, at higher levels because they say that uh, behemoths are stronger at higher levels technically speaking at that point it's a skill problem it's a skill difference but I will demonstrate that soon combat showcases I will continue to showcase <laughs> excuse me where the behemoths are way above our damage range but what I'll also state is that it is possible because you're basically going to encounter this exact same situation in the blazeworks Look at the color of the behemoth uh, windows, basically, and, you, and you'll see that this is exactly the kind of color you're going to encounter in the Blazeworks, so you better be fucking ready for it. If you are not ready for it, then that's, that's, uh, that's basically the entire skill issue. But, again, I will happily showcase Blazeworks very soon, so look forward to that. Okay, that's something you can look forward to. I know I don't go to Blazeworks much because I don't usually use it for leveling. It has never been a part of my leveling journey because for me it's always been unnecessary and a gigantic wasted effort. But, you know, what the people want, I, I do. Anyway, axes are amazing, just so you know, and I hope the rework doesn't fucking wreck them because they are one of the strongest weapons in the whole game. Um, you can literally see, even with my imperfect plays, I am no perfect axe player, but like I said I'm more of a chain blade specialist than anything, but you know, I really love these beasts. They do the work. They do the work. And they're beautiful in that regard, you know? So we just ripped it through a Charog that was nine levels higher than us. Uh, we're gonna now now we're level two. So the Quill Shot dead ahead is uh, eight levels higher. How do we do that? Very simple. You saw that the entire build revolves around casting Revenant, trying to maintain your predator for as much as you can by dodging through attacks, and then bringing, effectively speaking, the hammer down on the enemy. So I'm going to repeat that process right here, right now. I'll show you how it's done. Okay. So I often start out by casting my Omni Surge, Omni Cell ability first. That's important to me. Okay. If you do not do that, you might have difficulties later on. I do not charge the axe all the way because it is not necessary. What your aim is is to maintain your Predator bonus, and remember, I'm continuously maintaining it by avoiding getting hit unless I have my Aegis buff on. If I have my Aegis buff on, I may take a hit because at that point it doesn't matter. Once my axe is fully charged up, I will unleash. And I use my revenant or my axe strokes to knock down the uh, quill shot during its boopable phases. Why? Because, well, that's just literally how this game works. You know, if you know that it has an upcoming interrupt phase, that's when you would uh, utilize your abilities to knock it down. And if you find that your hit points are getting a little dicey, you know, save up for a moment, and then knock it down. Alright, use your Revenant, cast your Revenant after healing up, sorry, and then, you know, cast it when necessary. If you do that, your Revenant will deal fantastic amounts of damage, boosting up your axe and basically helping you take out a Behemoth in mere moments. Alright, it's literally that easy. Okay, these are behemoths way above your level, and you should be able to handle them with Revenant. So, thank you very much for watching this, and remember, it's 2022 now. It's January. The top supporter lists and the uh, Throne of Honor will be reset this weekend, and it will be reset in the week to come, so look forward to it. You know, all our top supporters are going to have their names at the end of every video. Same with our Throne of Honor, so look forward to it, all right? Thank you guys very much, appreciate you, and I'll see you all in the next video, okay? Y'all have a fun weekend.